I think finding a way in which to deal with a number of intractable um, conflicts. Um, there's a lot of focus today on Ukraine, um, but there's a sense in which international actors are not paying sufficient attention to other conflicts that we're seeing around the world. And we've seen a growth or an increase in a number of conflicts, whether it's um, Sudan, um, Ethiopia, um, a coup in Myanmar in which we can't find a way out of um, question marks about the fate of Yemen, whether peace talks there can hold and reach a sustainable outcome. And then we're seeing Haiti come back um, glaringly onto the international agenda. So while Ukraine is the one that's absorbing all the headlines, I think it's a classic case of paying attention to those other conflicts beyond, be, below the radar. I think we need to get serious about prevention. Um, a number of actors um, still say we need to better anticipate crisis. Um, I don't think the problem is necessarily anticipating crisis, but anticipating the policies to respond to those crises and acting in time. Um, in a world where there's increasing polarization, increasing competition, um, there is still scope um, to cooperate, especially in the midst of human suffering. And I think the, the big challenge um, today is not just that we're seeing um, the return to crisis, but the, 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 the toll of civilian suffering and the humanitarian consequences of that is pretty grave. And then you overlay that um, with food insecurity and climate change, and we're seeing a real tsunami of problems. Um, and the question is whether international um, actors have the bandwidth to address them in a systematic and a coherent manner. Um, the UN is still a relevant actor, especially the agencies. The Security Council, yes, it comes across as dysfunctional, um, and oftentimes we see it as broken, but it's still an important um, player for peace and security. And then the regions themselves, because a number of these problems um, spill over into the regions. The region itself is part of the problem, but also part of the solution as well. I don't think there is any one perfect actor. Um, there is clearly needs to be a division of labor. Not everybody has the bandwidth, the capacity, the legitimacy to play the role. And I think we need to think creatively about who could be the constituency of actors as opposed to assuming that one body, one actor um, can lead. But oftentimes you do, you do need a lead nation. You do need somebody to take the lead, but they have to control and bring people together and find a way in which to cooperate even in the midst of heightened polarization and geopolitical fallout as well.